Konnichiwa, I'm John Hornick. Welcome to my Japanese Faves series where we'll cover every major type of Japanese food. This lesson is Kunsi Nisuro Butaniku Soba or Smoked Pork Soba. This is my Japanese-ish riff on the 2017 recipe by Graham Elliott in Food and Wine. It's a great way to use any kind of leftover smoked pork. I made this dish with leftover smoked country ribs meat, which could also use smoked shoulder or butt pork tenderloin, or even the meat off of spare ribs or baby back ribs. You could also use slow-cooked or braised pork instead of pork that has been smoked. This, the pork smoking liquid or braising liquid is great for the broth, but I've also used my Any Bones Ramen Broth, which adds richness, depth, and umami. Also, the pineapple and red onion are a good combo, but you could really use any stir-fried vegetables. This dish is great for dinner, but even better for lunch the next day. So let's start cooking. Okay, here we have our pork that was uh, previously smoked uh, in a small saucepan. We're going to add the, um, whatever you're using, the pork cooking liquid or um, any bones broth, uh, whichever you choose. We're going to add the chicken stock. And then we're going to bring that to a boil. Bring to a boil means as soon as it gets to a boil, we're going to reduce the heat, okay? So I'm putting it on like a little bit above medium heat. Get the rest of that liquid in there. And we're going to just bring that to a boil. Now, while the um, uh, pork is coming to a boil, we're going to drop the noodles into the hot water. So here's our Soma noodles. We're going to drop those into the hot water and cook them according to their directions. Uh, okay, our um, pork is just coming to a boil. We're gonna turn this down to a low simmer, lowest heat, cover it. We're gonna let this simmer um, until we're almost ready to plate. Okay, our noodles are uh, done, and they're just al dente, okay? I want them to be just slightly, just slightly, uh, not undercooked, but uh, still have a little bit of a bite to them, okay? We're gonna drain them, and then, we're going to shock them in an ice bath. Stop the cooking. Okay? Okay, now we're going to take our pineapple, our onion, and our asparagus, and we're going to toss them in olive oil. How much olive oil? Enough to coat them. Okay? And we're also going to season them with some salt and some freshly ground black pepper. All right? You want to lean on the un, uh, side of under seasoning because you can always add salt or pepper later on. It's very difficult to adjust if you add too much. Okay, so we're just going to toss the uh, pineapple, uh, onions, and asparagus in the olive oil. There we go. Okay, now we're going to uh, stir fry the pancetta or the boiled bacon, whichever one you're using, in a wok medium heat until the um, until the pancetta or the bacon is uh, looking kind of cooked we don't want it to be brown and crispy we want it to render its fat into the wok because we're going to use that to cook the um, pineapple onions and asparagus okay our um, our pancetta is looking good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of the wok with a um, slotted spoon and um, drain it on crumpled brown paper. All right, and then we're going to add the uh, the pineapple, the onions, and the asparagus. Now what we want to do is stir fry these until they are beautiful. Okay, now our noodles have been uh, sitting in the ice bath. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drain them uh, into a um, into a strainer to get uh, the water out. And uh, then what I want to do is I want to get the noodles out of the strainer. Let's try to get as much of the water out as possible. Uh, get the noodles out of the strainer 
and uh, try to leave the ice there. If you get a couple of ice cubes, it's not a big deal. I just want to get the noodles out into a separate bowl. There we go. Okay, now we're going to keep these to the side until we're ready to add them to the wok. All right, now these are starting to become beautiful. For example, this piece of um, pineapple is getting a nice brown on it, okay? We're going to try to get some more of that uh, on, the, on all of the, or uh, not on all, but it's onto a good number of the uh, pieces that are in this wok. I'm going to turn the temperature up a little bit to uh, more like high. Okay, now everything in this wok is beautiful. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the heat down to low. Low, there we go. And we're going to add the noodles, the pancetta, the scallions, and the pork. Now, we're gonna just let those warm up for a few, well, everything's already warm except for the noodles, okay? So we're, we're on low heat, uh, but the noodles were cold, so they're bringing the heat down, okay? And everything else is um, cooling down a little bit too, okay? So we wanna just have everything warm, a little bit above warm for a good serving temperature. Temperature you'd wanna eat it at, basically, okay? so. Now we're gonna plate up. Okay, now we're gonna portion the um, uh, mixture into our serving bowls. And you wanna try to get a good mixture of the, or good um, balance, I guess, of the, the goodies, you know. And um, also, uh, you know, the broth. This, this is enough for uh, two people, basically. And um, then, we want to garnish it with some avocado and some chives and some achimi togarashi. Okay. All right, that's it. That is uh, the conclusion of our um, butaniku smoked, smoked butaniku soba. You can see photos of the final dish at my Instagram, which is at Chef's Apprentice, cook like a pro. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.